Eswatini. Eswatini human rights lawyer assassinated in front of family. Human rights lawyer critical of Africa's sole remaining absolute monarchy, Tulani Maseko, was shot and killed by unknown gunmen on Saturday night, January 21st, 2022. According to AFP, Maseko was killed by two bullets that went through a window of his house while he was with his family. The assassination occurred in Luleko, around 50 kilometers from the capital of Eswatini, Mabani. There are no further details about the crime as Maseko's family is in great mourning and does not want to talk to the media. According to Newsday, the government issued a statement saying, quote, his demise is a loss to the nation, and his footprints as a human rights lawyer are there as proof of his contributions to the country. He will surely be missed." Unquote. Government spokesman Alfeas Sumalo claims security forces are searching for the assassins and will not rest until they are caught. However, According to International Federation for Human Rights, Maseko's assassination, quote, came a few hours after King Swati had issued stern warnings to those calling for democratic reforms in the country and that his hired mercenaries would deal with them, unquote. According to AFP, Maseko's death occurred hours after Swati threatened activists opposed to his absolute monarchy, saying, quote, people should not shed tears and complain about mercenaries killing them. These people started the violence first, but when the state institutes a crackdown on them for their actions, they make a lot of noise blaming King Swati for bringing in mercenaries, unquote. As reported by AFP, last week, the Swaziland Solidarity Network accused the king of hiring white Afrikaner mercenaries from neighboring South Africa to help Eswatini security forces crack down on his opponents. According to AP, Maseko was representing two people charged with committing crimes during demonstrations against the monarchy in 2021 during his assassination. The international community is calling for an independent investigation by the Southern African Development Community and the African Union.